Okay, good morning everyone. First off, I'd like to start out by, by giving a, um, a big thanks to Fine Fine Technologies for sending me over a microphone that I'm gonna do an unboxing on. To make a long story short, when I first started out, my first USB mic was a Blue Yeti. I wanted to do some reviews on some other things and I heard that this was a really, they were a great company. So I bought the uh, Fine Fine K678, used it. I liked it so much, I haven't used the Blue Yeti since. Not the knock on blue. I'm just saying that I think that they should spend a little more money on quality of their product than Avatite. Okay, so here we are. We're back and we're ready to unbox. And I, actually, I got this product really fast. I had it. Once they contacted me and asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review, I had it. Um, I think it was within a day. I was really surprised. Now, people, just remember, always be careful with these razors. I have cut myself in the past. I know I'm sounding like a, an old dad here, but it never hurts to remind. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's get this out of the way. Okay, well, it appears to be a microphone. I know when you look at it, it says F-I-F-I-N-E, so it looks like fee fine fa fi but it's fine fine. The way the product is pronounced, it is fine fine technologies. Okay, so from the outside, it's called the Ampli Game. It's a streaming podcast vocal recording mic. It's USB. It has a sample rate of 192 kilohertz, built-in sound card. Okay, and it has a Radiant RGB lighting setup. That's nice. Put a little flair to your, to your gaming. All right, specification, okay, element. It's a condenser microphone with a polar pattern, okay. It has a, pi, uh, a five volt power supply, output connector, USB. It has a tap to mute button. It's plug and play, again, RGB pop filter and gain control. I guess it probably might work with pretty much any RGB software. So let's open her up and take a look. I just cleaned all this up. Nice packaging. I know the last time that I opened up the K678, I was amazed by the quality of, of it. I, I'm hoping that they do stay with the same thing. Oh, wow. As well as I remember the manual was like amazing. And I guess they're sticking with their, their usual, their usual pattern. Um, again, we have a very, very detailed um, user manual. Wow. You know, I've spent a lot more money on products and got a lot less. I kind of kind of isn't cool when you spend a bunch of money on something and then you got to go online and watch videos to learn exactly what it's about all right first out of the box is our USB cabling and as the last time it is a USB C plug it's got USB plug in good that's a great thing. Big upgrade there. The other end has a um, standard USB. Looks like 2.0. A. And the cable is top notch. The quality of it, I can tell just by looking at it and feeling it, it it's, it's very, very good. Wow, okay. 
so we do have that in here. Okay, and we have a Oh, this is a nice little one. This thing, this is the first time I've got one of these that snaps. This snaps right into place. Nice. This is all metal. Nice, nice rubber um, pads on it to keep it from sliding. Probably help with vibration. And let's get to the mic. I guess that's pretty much everything in there oh wow okay again it seems to be made of a heavy plastic material comes with its own shock mount and a really nice I think a little smiley face they put on there and a really nice little uh, pop filter cool I imagine you know of course this is here so in here on the top it looks like we have a touch to mute on the bottom we have a volume control button which is really nice again locks has stops it doesn't just keep spinning like other things I have seen all right nice so what we're gonna do is a little comparison we're gonna test the sound on it I'm gonna compare it to the uh, first one that I got I'm not even gonna compare it to the blue Yeti unless it's really different from the first one um, because the first uh, the K678 just I'm sorry but it, it, it just I feel it kind of smoked my Yeti um, so on that note, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so for a little comparison from their last mic to this mic, which is pretty much more of a plain style, I will say that this mic is definitely, definitely well, well built as well. Um, everything on it is metal other than the plastic knobs um the mesh cover the body the stand and it's also heavy um right now i'm speaking into this mic it's set at the volume is at around the same as the other one was probably a little in between 50 and 75 percent from 12 inches away there isn't any pop filter on it yet because it's already attached up to my my boom arm and i didn't want it so i grabbed one that i had spare and i'm just gonna hold it up in front and see if you can tell that there's a difference with the peas hey everybody we're back okay so i'm here to finish up this video with a five fine ample game usb podcast microphone I guess the whole point of the review is, first I want to state, okay, this is a reshoot right here because <laughs> my, my stand on the, uh, on, on the last part of this video, unfortunately now I have to edit it and upload it re again to YouTube, but things happen. But my stand, one of, the, one of the knobs on it was loose and I was noticing some movement and things didn't stay where they was but so anyway I, I it didn't turn out to be the way i wanted it and i'm kind of finicky about things so here we are all right so to start out obviously you know i did a sound test on this already i mean who would do a microphone test without testing it to make sure it has sound before they spew off for five ten minutes okay first off the stand quality all the legs seem to snap right into place. They're not flimsy like some of the other mics that I've tested. So that was pretty impressive. The stand itself is solid metal, which is really nice. Right starting at the bottom, you have a pretty, pretty good sized knob on this microphone for adjusting what some people might consider either your volume or even your gain. 
the when you're turning the knob it doesn't keep spinning like some of the cheapies it has a stop notch when you when you silence it as well as when you turn the volume all the way up right now we're set at same as the last microphone we're set at about 75 percent the shock mount that comes with the microphone is a solid heavy duty actually it's very thick not so thick it's bulky and ugly it's it's actually a, a tiny little shock mount but it's the quality the build of it is is really really good can't get around that onward to the microphone it comes with RGB lighting the frame or the body actually of the microphone itself is a solid plastic and I don't want to I don't want you to get scared away on the word plastic because I'm actually quite happy that they did come out with plastic because the Fifine K678 it was all metal beautiful sound and microphone when I started doing this I was using the Blue Yeti and I wanted to do some reviews and I heard some good stuff about Fifine I picked up the 678. I was so impressed with the way it sounded. I've been using it ever since. So I'm not here to knock blue. I'm just here to say the true fact. Okay. And I'm hoping that the sound quality on this is just as well. I can't see why it wouldn't be. So now that we know it has a plastic body on the microphone, I want to let you know that it's not a cheap plastic it's not like if you drop this microphone it's gonna break I wouldn't recommend dropping it I don't think that'd be a really good idea but you're not gonna bend it squeeze it crack it that's not gonna happen on the front of the microphone there's like a metal mesh with another type of material behind it probably some type of a, um, a a paper that helps filter sound or something I'm not sure I, I haven't torn the mic apart to look at it but you can't you can you cannot see the, the microphone in there which is actually a good thing so you know it's back there and it's protected now on the top of the microphone is where the where the mute button is and it's not a push button that clicks in and out it's kind of some some, I guess you consider it like a, like a touch button. So what we're going to do real quick is, is a test and you can see how, how um, easily the mic mutes and then unmutes. So we're just going to do like um, mic test one, two, three, mic test one, two, three, mic, mic test one, two, three. All right, so I guess you could see that it shut right off and one of the things that I was a little bit concerned about was on the mute if you bump into it with it being able to turn off so easy you could end up speaking for a little while and not realizing that your microphone was off but then again I realized that when the mic when when the mic mutes you lose your RGB lighting so actually you're going to pick up on it quite quick if you accidentally do bump it. On the back of the, the, the microphone is pretty much the same as the front. You have a, uh, a metal mesh screen type honeycomb. Let's call it honeycomb. Very tight honeycomb. The pop filter on this microphone is a really nice quality. It has an all plastic frame and that again too is the same type of plastic the rest of the component is made out of it's heavy duty the, the the mesh on it isn't typical cheap nylon just stretched out over something it's it's a very 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 tight mesh screen that is probably looks like it goes on don't mind the squeeze but it, it looks like it's double layered. I'm not sure if there's anything in between it, but it looks like this, it's double layered. It's, I've seen it before and it usually comes on higher, higher end microphones, so they didn't skip there. 
Another big plus with this microphone is its USB-C plug in the back of it, which is awesome. I'm so happy to see FiveFine implement that into their, their microphones. It's just such a big plus. The cable that comes with it, quality. Just as the last one was, top quality. It's, it, you, you can just tell by feeling it, by looking at it and holding it that, it, that the, the, the data, power cable all in one is just great quality. So I think we've pretty much covered everything on this microphone. I'm going to put a link below on my YouTube channel where you, where you can go and um, you can click it, go over to Amazon, take a look at the mic. It goes, I think, for around $60, which is very reasonable. Uh, I really think that for people that are beginners, even mid-range, that this mic would be more than enough to suffice when it comes to sound, especially if you're into using USB and not XLR style mics. USBs are just great. It, just great if you're going to be on the move, if you're going to be just you plug and play and you go. You, you don't need a mixer, you don't need nothing unless you want to download a, um, you know, a program where you can play around with the sound a little bit, but I don't see no need for it. So, don't be shy. For one, click on that link. Check it out. I really do recommend this microphone. I recommend the, the K678. They're both nice, nice microphones. They're the only two five fine I've used. So I'm kind of hoping that the next time they come out with a new product, they don't forget me. Hint, hint, five fine. <laughs> um, I really do, do, do enjoy doing the reviews. And actually, I had used the five fine K678. I replaced my Yeti with that, like within a month of getting a Yeti. So I went out and blew. $130 on a Yeti and it, once I did the review on the Five Find, the, the Yeti went to the side. I'm not hitting again, knock on blue or nothing, but I've been using the Five Find ever since for half the price and half the weight. How can you go wrong? This, you know, in this day and age, it's all about dollars and cents. You know, the dollars are dollars and the cents is common sense. But, um, yeah, okay, so I guess that's going to about wrap it up. I'm happy with this. I really do recommend it. So click on that link below. Go check it out. And if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it. It does help me so much even to get a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just let the, just let the algorithm know that I'm here. And if you're... And if you're happy with what you're seeing, you give a thumbs up, feel free and subscribe. I ain't going nowhere. All right, everyone. So look, I've got things to do, places to go, people to meet. Anyways, I've enjoyed doing this, this review and um, I'm looking forward to doing the next one and I'm always happy to come out and out here and give out some information. Hopefully it's helpful. So everybody, have a great day and stay safe.